What up, guys? It's about two. It's about two forty in the afternoon on Long Island. It's about seventy-seven degrees out on this beautiful May day, and I'm supposed to be going to the North Shore with Andy, so that's where we're going right now. We're gonna go pick him up. Gotta stop, get a couple things before that, but it should be a good day. We can fish the sunset, see how that turns out. Hope I got everything I need, though. Not too sure. All right, so obviously I just ran back into my house because I wanted to know if I brought my hoagie pro tail eel. It's like a, you know, straight soft plastic, but they hold up so well. And when the fish are on them, the fish are on them. I really like them. I know Andy likes them. They don't really know about Roger, Jim, and Kyle, but definitely Hoagie made a good product there. We really, really, really like using the purple. I think it's black flakes, maybe silver flakes. I can't really remember, but it's purple. It's a kind of a blurple. And throw those at night, and you do really, really well. Like if the fish just really like the action. It's just a simple jigging off the bottom, or even a slow retrieve, a little twitchy in there. We've done them both, and they've both worked, and, and Hokies come out on top for valley with those. Guys, so we just got Andy, and we're headed off to the North Shore. I was talking about that hoagie earlier, not the bag. I said the black bag, not the red bag. I was talking about the hoagie earlier, and Andy's going to go back. It's in the basket, in my plug bag. There we go, it's in the front pocket. He's going to show you the hoagie that I was talking about. These guys two different weights in there. Let me see that. This is a 1.8 ounce. It's not that heavy, to be honest. It does a lot better. It's not straight weight, you know. And then switch. This is a 1.25 ounce. Again, it's probably when you're jigging on the bottom, it feels like, what would you say, three quarter, one ounce? Yeah. Maybe a little. Yeah. I didn't really get to use the 1.8 ounce because I really don't need it yet, but I'm going to start using it in the surf when the season progresses. See if you can see that. I really hope that. Ooh, look, oh shit's not in the way. Like I said, it's black. Oh, it's black. Well, it's a dark purple with light purple flakes, so it kind of looks black and purple. Oh, we 
ain't jerking it. So I'm using I'm using I'm using a half ounce spro eel pattern, I'm pretty sure. And I got a little Kitek on the back of it. It's usually called the bluegill one. And just dropping it and jigging it off the bottom and they were hitting it. They're here. So we'll see. Andy just got hit on his drop, so we'll keep fishing. All right, so obviously you saw us catch those what was it, three or four in the beginning. I think we did another four more. And that was on the eel spro, half ounce. And I started using the half ounce the chrome spro, which I like a lot. They liked a lot, but they only liked if you could paddle tail on it. So we had a Kai Tech, the bluegill that you use in freshwater, I put on that. Andy, what were you throwing? I was throwing a half ounce jig head with a little white curly tail. Then you were throwing a white Kai Tech at one time, too. Yeah, and I got a couple hits on it, one fish. Alright. We kind of got here at the end of the bite. 